As a child, the very first thing I can remember is standing in front of my dad, watching him pack his bags. And I remember feeling helpless, hopeless, seeing the angst in his eyes and seeing somebody who I wanted to help and I couldn't. I felt like I wasn't good enough for him to stay. Thinking about how I internalized my father leaving and relating that to my self-worth and the lack of that, um, it followed me throughout my life. Shortly after that, my mom and dad divorced, leaving my mom with eight children. She was single for four years until she met my stepdad who had six kids, blending all of them together with 14 kids. With all the moving parts of all of the kids and them moving, I often felt very alone in the midst of all the chaos. Because of that, I found comfort in food, and I found comfort in knowing that it would always be there. The eating got worse, and I used that more as a comfort, and then I felt even more lost because I was more unhappy with myself. I looked in the mirror and I didn't like what I was seeing, and I didn't know how to feel the self-love that I was supposed to be feeling. High school, things just amplified for me, especially my senior year. Food wasn't enough. I was looking at outside sources to find ways to dull the pain. I tried to keep busy and try to distract myself from the feelings I was feeling inside without really fixing the issues that I needed to fix. When I was in nursing school, I was so busy, I was able to ignore all of my problems that I had continued to have from my childhood up till now. A week after I graduated nursing school, I got married and then I dived straight into working as a labor and delivery nurse the night shift, full time. When I was younger, I didn't really have the desire to um, aspire to be a mother. Being married to somebody who loved me completely and having an example of empowerment and beauty from all these beautiful women that I was able to take care of changed my outlook on motherhood in a very real way. I was excited to be a mother. It was something that I finally was aspiring to be. And it gave me the strength to feel like I could start a family with my husband. Working nights and being pregnant were not a good combination for me and I gained a lot of weight. Um, and we welcomed a beautiful baby girl into the world. When she turned one, Jeff and I knew immediately that we wanted to have a sibling for her. And we got pregnant with Baylor and he was beautiful and healthy and my life couldn't be more perfect on the outside, but inside I came crashing down. I was over 200 pounds. Everything that I had been internalizing my whole life was all of a sudden coming to the surface with the baby blues that I was experiencing. One particular night, I remember breastfeeding Baylor and feeling so helpless. And I remember looking down at him and feeling like he deserved better. And then I remember feeling like I deserved better. And I remember thinking back to those patients I had taken care of and how powerful they were. And that was the moment that I decided to stop and tell myself that I was worth it, that I could do it, and enough was enough. I was gonna take control of my attitudes, actions, and my life. I deserved to look differently and to feel differently about myself. It took me two years to lose 80 pounds. I got down on myself a lot, and I had to continue to remember what it took and what I was and my self-worth. I had to make it work with my kids. My previous CrossFit gym that I had gone to didn't have daycare. I didn't have a gym membership. I didn't know what to do. So my husband and I made it work. We made a CrossFit gym in our garage. And sometimes my kids wouldn't go down for naps. So I used them as weights. And I used them to work out with me. And I utilized them. And some days I wasn't able to work out, which is probably why it took me two years. And then I implemented more of a clean eating diet. And it completely changed how I saw food and how food made me feel. Finding that balance in nutrition and that exercise combined really helped me change my life physically. No amount of weight that I lost was going to tell me or show me how I, to love myself. And I had wished I had known that previous to losing all my weight because it would have saved me a lot of heartache. You know, a lot of people ask me, are you done having a family? Is it scary? Are you afraid you're gonna gain weight again? And yeah, it's scary every day. My fitness journey is, in a lot of ways, my journey of my life. And it will never be over, and it's beautiful, and it's hard, and I take it day by day. I feel like I am healthier mentally, physically, and spiritually now than I've ever been. And because of that, I am able and grateful that I have a body that is healthy enough to have another baby. <laughs>
and I'm pregnant. <laughs> and I'm so excited and I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful that I get to sacrifice my body again to have another beautiful baby and to continue my family and I don't know what this fitness journey is going to entail as far as my pregnancy and my weight gain and I'm just grateful that I even have the opportunity to do it. Life's hard and it's messy and it's always going to be that way, yet it can be beautiful and you are beautiful and you are strong enough to fight through it. You deserve to feel your best self. People will fight against you and you fight on back because you have the power to do that because you love yourself and that's all that matters.